we dark? Those three people are already on. Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so before we get too far into this, I'm just going to say I'm sick. <laughs> it's not COVID. It's not COVID. It started out as a cold and it is gone every which way but better. So I'm now on meds and I've got my tissues. <laughs> if I have to leave, then y'all know. Okay, and thank y'all. Hopefully, y'all can hear me. Hopefully. Um, <coughs> um, <coughs> I really am okay. <laughs> so uh, we took we took two weeks off. As y'all know, um, my grandma finally died. Finally. I mean, it wasn't like, it was not a finally. Like, she did not suffer at all. She, we, she had been declining, but she was not anywhere near where we thought she was going to leave us. And, um, which I'm glad. I'm glad she didn't have to suffer. But it, it, it did come, even though she was on hospice, it did come as a shock because, we weren't look at that because we weren't um, expecting it that soon. But I could, I was just telling a friend today. So I've lost a husband and a mom and now my grandma. And I would say that by far it, it was my grandma that was the hardest. But, but then I think maybe maybe it's because the hurts still fresh and and maybe looking back on it a year from now I wouldn't think that but um nonetheless it was hard my grandma was my mom's mother and so she was I feel like my last little bit of my mother and <clears throat> so um I've been physically struggling since the night she died like I can't tell y'all all the stuff that's gone on with me since the night she died and, and my husband's convinced it's just the grieving and how our bodies respond to that. Um, so we, I, I don't know. I am getting better. I know I sound funny, and but I just took a. And she looks funny. And I look funny. I thought I told I told Kayla I'm not putting on makeup. I put on some <laughs> mascara and some lipstick for y'all. And by the time I blow. As much as I'm going to have to blow, I'm going to have lipstick on. Um, <clears throat> I do want to say a special thank you for, uh, to Vintage Digs, Gina at Vintage Digs. Isn't that Gina at Big Vintage Digs? Uh -huh. um, for my little cat that you had sent to me, little Siamese kitty. She's up on my shelf. And um, also to... I think it was Precious, Julia Precious Pearls for her little thing that she threw in, little pig that she threw in. That was really sweet. Um, and I really thought that taking the week off would have done it. But then last week I was just like, no, it's not happening. It's not happening. So, so there, there, were, there we are. <laughs> we had a lot going on. But I'm glad that, that you are here. And... Uh, what time is it? 7.02. 7.02. So thank y'all. Thank y'all for all of y'all's condolences. It, re it really means a lot, you know, but it was kind of like, okay, we just had to check out for a while. And <clears throat> especially me take care of myself because clearly – I wasn't handling it as good as I thought I was handling it. Um, so for anybody who is new, 
we um if you purchase anything it goes into your name goes into a pot and at the end we um we if we draw your name you get free shipping and <laughs> uh my daughter shannon will will be the kind of like the manager she'll say um Oh, thank you, Sue. Thank you. And um, she will call who gets it because I clearly do a really good job. I mean, really bad job at that. So she'll just type it in there. And she will also type in our information. Um, if you're not already registered, you will just um, uh, send us your information. If you win anything, get anything. And hello, Annette. And um, then we send you an invoice, and that's how it works. Did I forget anything? I don't think so. Okay. Well, then we'll get started. I look really white. Do I look really pale? You look real tan, and I look, well. I'm always tan. Anyways. You're not pale. You're, you got rosy cheeks. I got rosy cheeks. She doesn't. She doesn't look sick in person. I took. I took a prednisone, which um, does wonders. I'll tell you, wonders. <coughs> so if y'all just deal with me while I'm hacking up alone, we'll be good to go. What shall we start with? Mouse. Okay. Sure. Can you just a little something on his ear? Okay. I'll go first. I left a piece of sticker on his ear. And um, there's also something else that I was just looking at that had a sticker on it that I knew I had to do something about. And it's on my phone. Not this one. The first thing we're going to do is this. I think he's a bulldog. <laughs> and he's got some tape on his face. And if you love, what is this? Is this a planter? <laughs> he's a planter. Yeah. He does not have a maker's mark. But look at that face. <laughs> there he is. He's got his hands in his, it looks like he's got his hands in his pocket. Yeah. Oh, those are, he's wearing shoes. No, those are pockets. Are they shoes? I think he does. He has shoes it's on. Possible. Yes, because you can see on the side the little shoestring. <laughs> so he's a little bulldog planter. <laughs> it is a bulldog. I, I thought he was the cutest thing. So he is going to be number three, eight dollars for the bulldog. Number three, eight dollars. And um, I was going to tell you, Barb Lee, I got your information just now. It came across number three, so vintage digs. Vintage digs, Dina or Gina, you got. The bulldog. <laughs> we have a cute little mouse sitting on a shoe. Pretty blue and pink. No maker's mark. Some crazing, but no chips or cracks. No chips or cracks. So cute. And he is going to he's going to be eight dollars number twelve. Hello, Cricket. I've seen you. I just started going to sales again. Um, and I saw I saw you in in another sale. I I kind of just went blank on YouTube for a while. Um, and so I just started getting in by you know watching YouTube videos. Okay, the thrill of the thrift. Thrill of the thrift is you, is that D? Are you D? I think, I think you're so. D. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. 
Okay. <clears throat> this is a pair of Fitz and Floyd. They have their they they both have their little Fitz and Floyd Sticker. yes stickers, and they are salt and pepper. Salt and pepper holders, great for spring. I don't know what kind of birds these are. Um, maybe, I, I was gonna guess, I would say little finches. Any any bird people wanna, and I'm feeling around, I don't see any, There. I don't see or feel any. And they're so pretty, like this color. Them so I can write them down. Any, um, any flaws or anything and the color on their back they're not just black and white it's yeah, like they, a, they, a really pretty a maybe it's a chickadee a bluish <laughs> grayish color kind of really pretty and what makes me think it isn't a finch is because i think finches may have some yellow on them but i don't know my birds real well so these are six dollars number six Six dollars, number six. Here we have an ashtray. It is a green, okay, it's not showing up. It's, it's like a olive avocado green, you know? back in the 60s and 70s green. Thank you, Carrie Ann. And it is an owl ashtray. No chips or cracks. Um, it, it's showing, I'm just gonna see if it, if it showed darker, if I put something behind it. There, that's more of an accurate color. Maybe a little darker than that, but you can see, and, and uh, you would put your cigarettes right here where it. And so this owl, it does not have any sort of maker's mark or anything on it, but there are no chips or cracks. And he is $8, number 21. I love him. He's got a cute face. Okay. All right. Thank you, Jen K. Next, we will do. And and as y'all uh, as as y'all get as Shannon puts the name up, who who got the item? Kayla is putting your name in our little pot. I'm writing your name down. So next we have. Is that a flaw? I forgot another sticker. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, what would you call this? Place to like sit your rings, maybe? Like you could sit your rings down on it? Yeah, just kind of a trinket little place. I think I saw when I was watching. Oh, yeah, that's got a hairline fracture. A hairline fracture in it. I, I want to say Jeffrey just picked one, uh, one similar up uh, not long ago on one of his videos. So show them the. It's a little tiny. Little crack. Yeah. Or hairline. But pink and green um, on the bottom. Does it have starts a with a K. Something is it? Could it be kept? K e p p? Yeah, kept ceramics. It um, there is. I just can't make it out. It's real light, but it is. It it is there. So this little fella is six dollars. Number fifteen. Six dollars. Number fifteen. 
<laughs> so I picked this up a while back. It is a play school space spinner. It's a really old toy. toy. Um, not, it, on the bottom, it says 1979. It is still in its box. Now the lid does close and that's not what I paid for it. And it is still nestled. Like I'm telling you, it's never been played. It's never been played with. Um, it still has its original little word, a word to parents. And part of me doesn't want to take it out just because look, I don't think it's it, I don't think it is ever being taken out of its box. Um, but for the sake of selling it, I will pull it out. Jim K, I love old toys. I have to get the heck out of here. <laughs> so how does this even work? Instruction. Oh, okay. It it takes it takes batteries. So it doesn't have batteries in it. Um it whirls or yeah, it you can see where things. it it this thing is gonna move when it starts swirling, it's gonna swirl. That's the bottom. I did see one little there's something, some discoloration right there on it. So I don't know, maybe you see there's some green right there. So maybe maybe it was played with, but it looks in really good condition. Her dad worked for play school when she was little. Oh, that's crazy. So maybe, I mean, um, I, I should have put batteries in it to make sure it worked. Um, whoever gets it, I will make sure it works before I mail it to you. And I will leave the batteries in it. So this space spinner is $12 number nine. And it was from 1979. Oh, the year my mom was born. <laughs> Space spinner. Okay. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to blow, I'm gonna have to blow so I'll at least get off the screen. Okay. Next, we will do an egg planter. It has a pretty white outline on the flowers. No chips or cracks. I'll say that. I found a tiny, oh, tiny chip right here. But you can't, it's not noticeable from the outside. Very pretty. There's the bottom. This egg is $10.00. Number 23. $10 number 23. <clears throat> I guess we can get some stuff. Okay, so uh, Debbie Vitale, are you still in the hospital? I'm just curious. So Debbie Vitale is angelic. Um, vintage treasures. Well, Debbie Vitale got that. Oh, the egg. Sure. This is your next. Oh, so have. you are still in the hospital. I was wondering. <laughs> I hope you're. I hope you're feeling better, even though you're still in the hospital. So 
So next we have a little dish. <laughs> and hand painted Nippon. Nippon? Nippon. 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 <laughs> Never said that word before. There's the colors. No chips or cracks. So it's a footed, it's a really cute trinket dish. <laughs> um, Six dollars, number 31. It does, Cricket, it does. Now, these, um, I'm fairly confident that they are Japan because there's a remnant I have a sticker right here, but it's moms and it's moms and pops, and pops does have some crazing and some discoloration, and and um, but there are no chips or crack. Well, there's cracks only if you consider it crazing. Um, so these two, two. Uh, these coffee two, mugs. yes, these two coffee mugs will, are together as a set. They're eight dollars, number twenty-seven. You get moms and pops. Like I said, pops is a little discolored. Discolored. Mom's got some little discoloration right here, but they're really cute. It doesn't affect the drinking. Right. I don't even know if you. They. They're really. You can tell they're really old. You can use them as. <clears throat> little plants or something, yeah. Oh, Jim K. Jim K. got the mugs. All right. Next. What is that? I think it's meant to come off. Yeah, I wouldn't make it come off. Okay. What do you think this is? It's a plain drawer. Well, I mean, I'm playing too with it. What do you mean? Well, I think it is. It's a shoe. No, I'm saying it's like the the make. Oh, I don't know. Oh, they're going on your coffee bar. That's it a good place. Okay. Next, we'll do this. Okay. Okay. Maybe. We're going to do this. So <laughs> this is, look at this shoe and I have looked I have gone over all of the flowers and unless they just did a really good job at painting I don't see any issues now there is some crazing Y'all, let's see if y'all can see. Um, what made me think that there might have been some, because see this, but it's painted and it's smooth. So I don't know. So here it is. I was looking at this. Um, it is, no, this one. It does look like that one could have been broken and put back on. But then the paint goes over what I think it would be. So I'm not so sure. So it's got all this delicate lace. It does have crazing. Um, this is the bottom. So this will be $6, number 27 for this for this boot and it's got pink 
um, pink and blue flowers. It's got a little permacue right here. You already have a 27. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to write it down. What? Um, I'm, it's, I'm sorry, Picasso Cat. Uh, it's number one. Number one for this boot. With lace. Um, what did you do with this? Okay. Picasso Cat, you got the boot. And I, do I have your information? <coughs> okay. Next we have a strawberry. There's the maker's mark. Thank you, Picasso Cat. The inside. And does that, can you read the maker's mark? Not really. Here's the top. The top does have a hairline goes just like this. It's hard to see. Cricket, um, I'm not sure that I do. Um, you may, you know what? Part of me thinks that I've seen it before. Your information and maybe you just haven't I haven't ever had to send you anything because you haven't gotten anything I'm going to guess that this is House of Webster in Eastland Texas because I've seen this uh, before and you really can't read it but that's what my guess is because I've seen that mark before um, so this ceramic strawberry is seven dollars number 35 Okay. Grab something else. Okay. I'm just going to let you grab everything. Oh. I'm too sick to focus. Okay, next we have a Made in England Royal Veil vale China set, a little teacup, and the saucer. Very pretty. Um, I do not see any chips or cracks. It would, it's really cute for There's Mother's Day. The bottom. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. I love the pink roses. Oh, thank you, Carrie Ann. The gold trim. And this is also seven dollars, number thirty-seven. Did I say that? No. no. I gotta focus. Number thirty-seven. I'm just gonna let you show them off because okay. I feel like I'm. Not. You're scaring me. I'm scaring you. Why? <laughs> Next, we have a Pyrex refrigerator. It's the mini. It's so cute. That is, is so small. Perfect condition. I don't think that there's any chip. Is there? Is that a chip? A very tiny one. Wow. Oh, well, it's like a flea bite. Kinda. Just when you think that there's no chip. I know. You, I don't even know if y'all can see it. It's right there. Very tiny. Yeah, and it's I wouldn't smooth. have seen it unless the, I mean, the light hit it just right, and so I saw it. And so it's a small one. It it does have just very light yeah. scratches. Yeah, but for um for what it is, 
it all be, it's still got the shine to it. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Picasso Cat. I got your information. Um, this is eight dollars, number forty-one. Okay. Hot holders. Oh, and next we have two pot holders. They're a they're red. Yeah, they're I I don't know what you call them. They're the like the straw, not straw, but I know that y'all know what these are. You remember those things that they were long and you could stick your fingers in both ends of them and you try to pull your, it? Yes. And you try to pull your fingers out of it and your fingers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Barb, we use the word pot holder <laughs> as anything. Um, it, yes, it is a trivet, but we rarely call them trivets. We always call them pot holders and yours. You're just supposed to know when we say pot holder what we're talking about. Um, that's how that's how in our rural town or where we came from in Texas, that's just how we roll. Anyway, there's two of these. You get two. What do you use to take hot? We use a we use a pot holder to do that too, Barb. Yes. So <clears throat> we use the words interchangeably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, three dollars for the trivets because that is its real name. Oh, number 19. Castle Cat. Jim K. Okay, see? Wait. Finger. I think they were called. Oh, okay. But Jim Lee, y'all call these pot holders too? Not Jim Lee. Jim K. Y'all call <laughs> these pot holders too? Okay. Next. Yes. Next, we have a paperweight, a little elephant paperweight. There's the sticker. Made in Japan. He's a really light, light blue. A light blue, but he's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Very pretty. He's <clears throat> he's five dollars. Number fifty. Anything? Yes, that's right. Anything that protects the counter from the pan is a pot holder. <laughs> that was five dollars, number fifty. <coughs> Next, we have Carter's Truth Solution Ink Eraser. Okay, Calypso Antiques. You got the blue elephant. Thank you. Two solution ink eraser. Show them the inside. This is the neatest thing. Hi, hi Sue. So it slides up. And it's still got stuff. Yes, it has the, both of them have liquids in them. <laughs> but that is what it is. And do we have a date on it? Is there a date? I I don't see one. I remember looking it up. It says for direction. Can you read that? <clears throat> for directions for removing ink stains from paper and fabrics, see circular inside. Warning: Do not use on silk, rayon, or wool. Test colored materials on unexposed part to determine whether color is best. 
Always keep bottles tightly capped and upright. Um, I don't know. I don't know the date, but I know it's old. And yeah, and um, it's metal. Yeah, it's six dollars. Number forty six. Six dollars. Number forty six. And um, um, <laughs> I'm so sorry, Kendra, Kendra Joe. Joe. Kendra Joe, um, have you sent me your information? If not, um, Shannon will put it put it up. Um, so that I can get it, or so that you can send your information. Um, and also, we can empty if you just want it for the. Okay, thank you, Kendra. If you just want it, you know, if you just for the, want can, the can, we can empty the stuff out of it, and it 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 uh can can fly. But if if you still want the stuff in it. Um, it'll have to go ground. It can't. It can't fly. So it may take it a little bit longer to get there. And just let me know if you just want to let me know if you want us to go ahead and empty them, or um, if you want the what's left of the the fluid in there. We, we'll we'll gladly leave it in there. Okay. Next we have three <coughs> three little clowns. They are set. Fitz and Floyd. Hand painted. Fitz and Floyd, 1978. Here's the first one. No chips or cracks. There's his mark. And there's his mark. So he stands on his head. And he's laying on his back. And he's sitting down. So um, I'm pretty sure there are no, are there any flaws with any of them? Oh, he has a little chip on his hand. Oh, the tiniest chip. <coughs> right here, tiny chip. Sure, Kendra. So these three clowns are ten dollars. Number thirteen, and you get all three of them. Hi, Angela. Oh. Yeah. Next we have a little. Joseph Original. Joseph Original. Made in Japan. Is that number six? Yeah. Oh. For like, like it's somebody like who's turning number six. Yeah. Oh, for like a little girl who's turning six years old. She's holding a birthday cake. She has the number six. She has pink flowers. Thank you, Dee. I don't see any chips or cracks. She's in... Great condition. She is twelve dollars, number forty eight. Twelve dollars, number forty eight. Look at her, she's precious. <laughs> Somebody once told me that the hours of the hours between 12 and 3, and I don't know if this is true or not at all. And I'm certainly not giving. Oh, Angela. Angela, I think, is a nurse. She, Angela, are you a nurse? Um, okay, Debbie Vitale, you got um, the Joseph original. Anyway, somebody once told me that when you sleep between 12 and 3, that's when your body heals itself. Pharmacy technician. 
Okay, then you're probably going to say, I've never heard of that before in my life. And you need to, this is not advice. <laughs> or it's unsolicited opinion, I guess. Right. Next we have a little... Amberina. <laughs> Amberina. Trinket dish. Hen. So, what? Hen, Amberina hen on basket. Amberina hen on basket. Trinket dish. Does it have any sort of marking? It, it looks like the glass inside. Okay, how am I going to show that to y'all? Um, has a scratch. It's. It doesn't look like it's a. I think it was a maker's flaw. I. I think. Here's the little hen. But Amberina, it doesn't look like a crack. It looks like somebody there, you can see scratched. it right there. It, it, if there's a mark on it, I don't see it. On the inside of this one, it's a does it glow? A scratch. But. Yeah. No, I'm thinking it doesn't. No, I don't I don't think it's glowing. No. All right. Oh. Um it doesn't glow. And it is twelve dollars number thirty-nine for the Amberina hen flashed. Uh No, I don't think it's flat. It doesn't look like it's flash. No, it does not look like it is flash. That is amber color. Number 39, Barb Lee. She's a cute one. Thank you, Barb. We have a Velco Japan. Cute little planter. I don't see any chips or cracks. It has gold on the top, all around the rim. It is a it is a light butter yellow. Our lots are killing it. <laughs> uh, but it is a really light butter yellow, and there all the the all the petals are there. Everything. This is eight dollars, number forty three. All right, get some off the top. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> Next we have a um Stein. Made in Japan. Stein. <coughs> Bald Eagle. And you guys, I've tried to find this Stein everywhere on the internet. I could not find one like it. Want to see the bottom of it? It says St. Louis, Missouri, made in Japan. I don't see any chips or cracks. No, it, it is in really good condition. Mm -hmm. And I, is that a crack out there? Is that like a hair on? Mm -hmm. I'll show it to you. I don't you. feel it. But this, this may be something. Right here is what looks like a hairline. Crack. 
but but I did try to find research on this and I have never seen one with this type of lid and it and it is in really good condition yes. no really good or cracks. <laughs> very shiny it is um fifteen dollars number twenty five fifteen dollars number twenty five Because I couldn't, I, I have not been able to find another one like them. Another one like it. And I've Googled everything. And Heiser Bush, maybe it might be. Um, I just couldn't, I couldn't find anything. I even, I even can consider keeping it. Okay, Jim K, you've got this, <coughs> the style. Yeah, I don't know how Angela has time for all the stuff she does. It's okay. crazy. Vase. We have a blue uh, glass vase. You want to offer on the okay? And Annette Fay wants an offer. Um. Dang it! What is the name of this? What is this? I know. I know it. The minute you say it, I'll know what it's. Uh, what's it called? Ask me. Swung, yes, I knew it. I knew it. Um, I wanted, yeah. Um, so it is a really true blue. Here's the bottom. Swung, swung yes. True blue swung base. It is so pretty. And um, Annette wanted. <clears throat> to do an offer so we're going to start at um ten dollars and once shannon writes it in um we will go from there we'll start at 10. she almost swung yeah it. she almost <laughs> swung it in my face i'll let it slide this time because she's sick. How tall is it? Let me measure it. Okay. So while we're doing that, I think Shannon found our eagle. Way to go, Shannon. It is Anheuser Bush Ball Eagle Endangered Bird. Holy smokes! The vase is 11 inches tall. Here it is, people. Three Sheets Marie is at 22. That's on eBay. That's what they're asking on eBay. Jim K, you got the deal of a lifetime. 22. Okay, Carrie Ann, 25. <coughs> <coughs> Ann is at 25. It's 11 inches tall. At its tallest point? Yes. We're doing an offer up on yeah. this one right now. And Carrie Ann, sorry, Annette, Annette Fain is at 26. Good, Jen. I'm glad you're going to keep it. It's worth will only go up. But honestly, when I did my research, when I first found it, I couldn't find anything. Leave it to Shannon to maybe next time I'll say, Hey Shannon, look this up. Yeah. Way to go, Jen. <laughs> no, I'm I'm glad it went to somebody who will appreciate it. Not, not that any of the others wouldn't appreciate it. Right, but they know what I mean. <laughs> right. How much was the mug? You couldn't see it. Uh they were trying to sell it on eBay for 146. And she three sheets for is out. Annette Fain is at 26. Um, send you a picture of it in the cabin. Okay, that would be great. Um, wow, what eight thousand dollars is the highest it's sold for? Oh, 79. Oh, okay. Like she's, still got a, she's still got a yeah. good deal. 
And that fan is at 26. And if no one else is in, oh, we're talking about um, Auntie Christy. We're talking about this mug. We're talking mug. about the Eagle mug that the we Eagle just mug showed. That we just showed. That's how much the highest it sold for on eBay. Um, so Annette Fain is at 26. And I think we'll call it. We'll, we'll, I know we're um, lagging a bit. So we'll do Annette Fain going once. She's at $26. At $26. And that thing going twice. Okay, Shannon. Once Shannon types it in, it'll be over. If you can get in, if, if anybody's going to get in, they need to get in now. Top stop, Shannon. Wow, is she liking that far behind? I don't know. Is that if she's just ignoring me? So Annette Fang got it go. for $26. Good job, Annette. Okay. Next. Where can I do this? I don't know. You looked at me. Oh. I'm going to do this one. It's really dusty. It's really dark. Um, is it? Uh, is either it might be Hazel Atlas or Anchor Hawking? I can't remember. Maybe Hazel Atlas. Does that sound right? It doesn't have it. Okay. Okay. So this apple, it, yeah, does not have a makers, but we're thinking it is Hazel Atlas. Cute little trinket. No chips or cracks. Six dollars, number twenty-nine. Hazel Atlas. Hazel Atlas. Yeah, it doesn't have its mark. Um, but it's six dollars, number twenty-nine. Oh. Next, we have this made in England. Ten. Okay, Carrie Ann, you got the apple. Okay. Made in England. Ten. Saying all the stuff it has on the side. Does the lid come off? Yes, the lid does. Oh, the lid comes off. <laughs> Here is the inside. Here is the detail. So it's got a rooster, a rocking chair, um, some flowers. What is that called? A grandfather's clock? Yeah. Grandfather's clock. <laughs> I only yeah. Judy. Um, I'm not sure what this thing is. What is this thing? A sewing. Thing. Anyway, it's four dollars number five. Four dollars number five. Okay. Oh hi Catherine, I didn't see you. <laughs> A spinning wheel. A spinning wheel for yarn? Number five, Catherine Young. Oh, Jen Kay, I was sitting on my hands. Uh -huh. Okay, next we have this little salt and pepper. Salt, oh, salt and pepper. Strawberries. Strawberries. Now, was there something on? No. Here's the stand. It is metal. No markings. No, I don't think that there's anything wrong with them. I just looked. I just looked them over completely. Then straw into gold. And that is who did, Rapunzel? No, Rapunzel didn't do that. Sleeping Beauty. Okay. So we have the two strawberries on the stand. Is salt there and a, pepper. Is there a no? There's no more. Okay. Glass um, or plastic? I think they're glass. Yeah, they feel like glass. 
How would yeah. I? I think there's, I don't know. Now these, I can tell they are flash. They look like they're flash. Um, it really feels, it's got, it feels like it's glass. Now, yeah, and from looking on the this, yeah. this part is plastic, feels like. But yes, yes it does, the this, other part. This part is metal. Yeah. And then the tops are plastic and this is glass. Mm -hmm. And there's the. And, and the silver, side. the silver does need to be cleaned on it. I'm just going to be honest. Hang on. Oh. The throw of thrift D, her name's D. Oh, D. They're glass. Dollars number 17 for the hanging strawberry salt and peppers. <coughs> okay, next we have a <laughs> made in Japan. Hi, Junk to be loved. Uh, I know your name. It is. Is it Missy? Mm -hmm. Junk to be loved. Hello, Missy. Number 17 goes to Carrie Ann. Goodbye, Carrie Ann. Goodbye, Carrie Ann. Goodbye, Carrie Ann. Good purchase. Oh, goodbye. Like, okay, I thought you were saying goodbye, Carrie. Okay, here's a made in Japan elephant planter. It's got some gold. Luster. He's a luster wear elephant. I don't see any chips or cracks. Very shiny. He's seven dollars number seven. Seven dollars number seven. Oh Jim K, you can you can invoice and pack later. We've got some stuff you want. She doesn't sound good. <laughs> she right, I sound good. worse than how, I sound I sound worse than I feel. But it's because I took a a friend in zone right before we got here. And so, you know, that just opened you up and it's like, ah, so I'm good. Next, we will do this little Henry Hawk or Henry Hawk Pepsi glass a collector series. Yes. That's yours, right? Yeah. <clears throat> now, I do not remember Henry Hawk. Maybe y'all do. What's the year? 1973. Well, I was born in 77, so maybe that's why I don't remember. Chicken Hawk. Oh, he's a chicken hawk. Yes. Henry Hawk. Pepsi Collector Series from Warner Brothers, 1973. And he's in really good condition. I don't think um, I don't think he's been in the dishwasher. Look at him. He looks. He looks tough. He looks he like does. he's about to handle business. He does. There's no chips or cracks. He was on with Foghorn Leghorn. Never heard of it. He is six dollars number eighteen. Six dollars, number eighteen. I don't. I just don't remember him. He's a cute little fella. He is a cute little fella. Oh, this thing's heavy. I say, I say, boy. I say, I say, boy. Oh, you meant. I'm 43. I didn't think I was so young. Debbie Vitale, you got him. I just missed him. I, I just missed him. I was in 77. You think he would have still been around in 77? I'm going to have to look up Foghorn Lakehorn. I'm a year older than your son. You could be my mom. I could be Kayla's mom. 
and a lot of people think I am. Yeah. And it doesn't help that she goes around calling me mom half the time either. It doesn't help that she goes around telling me what to do like a mom either. <laughs> I do. I treat her. I treat her like a kid. I say, I say, I say. Yeah, I guess that's what he says. <clears throat> he would say that. They said he would say that. I say, I say, I say. I look, it's funny. <laughs> Oh, you're not getting in there. <laughs> okay. Next, we have carnival glass. Very heavy. Yes, I even I even contemplated. Yes, of course. Vintage Viking treasures. You, uh, anybody that wants to say anything in the chat can say it, unless it's that. But if you're advertising. Your channel or a sale, just feel free to put your information in. Have at it. This is Carnival Glass. Do you know what number they were? What number? The glass? Oh, Debbie Vitale for the strawberry shakers. And I got care. Uh, Shannon said. Carrie Ann, Carrie Ann got the uh, strawberry salt and pepper shakers, uh, Debbie. Do you know what number they were? What are you doing? I was looking. What were they? Yeah. Number seven? Yeah. Yeah. Come right now. What number they were? They were number 17. Biscuit. That sounds better. Biscuit jar. It is the heart the like peach carnival glass. Very heavy. Kind of iridescent. It has that iridescent to it. You can't kind of see it. Um, it is, it is on the heavy side, and I even thought about not selling it. Keeping it for herself. Because of that. Well, because you know it's gonna be. My grandma would love it. Crazy. She has a ton of carnival glass. A ton. And I know carnival glass isn't really, a lot of people don't really like it. It is very pretty. It is very pretty. Sometimes called a tobacco jar. Sure. Um, so this is $18, number 24. Number 24. Great price. I'm glad you, we, you know, we try to have great prices. We're not out. I mean, I'm not going to say that because everybody will be like, ah, I buy from everybody. But I was going to say, we're not out to gouge anybody. But literally, I mean, if, if you want to pay more, I'll let you. But, you know, we just do whatever. Okay, next we have some. Wait, let me just fix that. So I probably shouldn't have said that because that sounded bad. I'm not saying that everybody else is gouging people. That's, that's what they can make. They, they've got hundreds of viewers. Um, and, you know, if I can make a, a little portion off of what I have, then I'm happy. Mr. L. Page for shipping from Texas. Texas. Oh, I need to get back. De Debbie Vitale, you got the, we're going to call it a biscuit jar because that sounds nice. Okay, next we have a pair of cooking, of owl cooking salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> <clears throat> One of them has its stopper. They do have some little steps. And they do have their literal tags, are they? Yes. No, we're not. We're not too far from the FW. We go, I, we go to Mansfield once a week for my son's hockey. Made in Taiwan. These are $6, number 36. Is there any flaws? Um, you want to share that with me? 
I'll look at this one. He does have a little flaw right there. I can't see it when he's up, but he does have a little chip right there. Six dollars, number thirty-six. And this one has a tiny, like a little chip on the bottom. <clears throat> you know what? Since that you've had chips, we're gonna do five dollars instead. So Picasso cat, five dollars instead of six. Right. Maybe not. I'm a thrill from Mansfield. Huh. Well, Mansfield's like my second home. Grab some pants. Ooh, I've never been to Canton. I've heard stories, stories. But I've never been. You're going to have to let me know how that goes. So what is... Red, red wear. Okay, this is Made in Japan Red Wear. It's an iron. Yes. If you would keep your sewing stuff. It does have crazing, but so, so cute. There's... Oh, that would be fun. Bottom. Made in Japan. <clears throat> now I know that these, you can find these anywhere. But here, it's going to be $5, number 30. Okay, my hands are getting numb. Okay, let's move along. Yes, Dee, you have them. This is pretty. Look <coughs> at this vase. I don't have a clue about this vase, you guys. Is it like a pottery? It is a pottery. Like a pottery? It's pottery and, and um, it is, I think it's clay. It's glazed inside. Well, you can't see. Oh, yeah, y'all can see it shining. It's glazed inside, but it is not on the outside. And I picked it up. Nimanji, Nimanji, Auntie Christy, am I totally? Hi, Tammy. Am I, to am I totally butchering that name? I picked it up because I love the colors. The the blue and the orange. Orange is my favorite color. And that's why I picked it up. It does not have, it's got a little bit of a tag right there, but it does not have any mirage. It does not, oh, I said it right. Good. It does not have a, any maker, anything like that. It does. So I don't I can't figure out if that's a flaw. I is this a flaw right here? Or is that something that's gonna come off? I'll show it to no, you. No, that looks like it's I don't know, but I don't think it's a flaw. I think it's part of it. But anyway, so here it is. It's blue and orange. It is um, glazed inside. It looks like it might have been made with like melted Crayolas. Oh, that's funny. I doubt it. It's called Namaji Pottery. You can assume it was made with melted Crayolas. No, you can't. Yes, you can. That is so neat. Anyway, it's $12, number 49. $12, number 49. I'm going to write that word down. Bisque outside, uh, glazed inside. <coughs> Next, we have a treasure craft. Yeah, no, not crayons. I knew. Sometimes I just want to knock her in the teeth. 
I've seen people do some cool things with some melted crayons. Look up videos and you'll see why I said that. Treasure craft. Treasure craft, does it have a date? Nope, just says number 376. It's a divided leaf dish with a blue. Isn't that pretty? Um, it does have, I mean, it doesn't have anything wrong with it. Other than just fading like in places. It, I don't see any chips or cracks or anything mm -hmm. like that. No chips or cracks, just some, you know, from where people have set it down on yeah. the counter or something, some, some of, like, you know, some scratches on the back from being sat down. <laughs> Mr. Elfage says, uh, be nice to the party helper. <laughs> the party helper. I'm not just the helper. Um. $14 for the treasure craft. Hold it closer. Um, number 44. 14, number 44. It is pretty. I like that blue. What does the back say again? Somebody asked. Treasure craft USA number 376. Missy that jumped to be loved gets the treasure craft trinket dish divided dish leaf. And I throw all the descriptive words in there. I'm gonna do some of this. Yeah, right on. Okay, this is just one lone cup. I just thought it was cute. Um, it does not have a mark, so I'm assuming it is just milk glass. Milk glass, rooster, pig, lamb, duck. No chips or cracks. Right there, it has a line through the blue, if you can see that. So it's clear. It's still got a good glaze on it, you know, good shiny, so it's not been in the um, dishwasher. dishwasher. And he is $4. $4 number 11. Okay, next we have a little mm, ice cream scoop. This part is glass. It says ice cream. It's ceramic. Yes. Not glass. Not glass. Ceramic. Um, it does have a... It is made in Japan. It does have a made in Japan mark right there. Can you see if I put it here? Yes. There it is. Number 11. Picasso Cat. Picasso Thank cat. you. So a little ice cream scooper, ceramic ice cream scooper. Works great. Uh, yeah, it, it's not, um, I mean, it's old, but it's not one of the, I think, more, devour, more de desirable ones. Um, it's $5, number 47. Love old kitchen stuff. Here. You know, you can show it. I'm getting confused. I'm sick. And that's an excuse. 
Yes. Okay, next we have. Jenna K, you got the ice cream scoop. A hand <laughs> coffee mug. Why worry? It will all pan out, okay? It has crazy. On the back it says, Joe, world's greatest VIP. And it, yeah, it does have crazy. It's pretty old. I don't know. Did you read that part of it? Hanson House, created for you by Hanson House, Long Beach, Florida. And it does have um, uh, a chip on the bottom of it. But I just thought it was cute. And it says West, West Electric Castings at the bottom, and it has their number. So it's, it's like a promotional mug. And it's $3, number 40. Okay, next we have a petroleum geology Abilene sample log service. Core Laboratory in Engineering. It's an ashtray. Yeah, it's like a, it's another like advertisement ashtray cat thing. Uh, it does have something on the bottom, but we'll come on. Three dollars, number fourteen. What does it say? Never mind. Abilene sample log, actually. Okay. To the roosters. Let me select you. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have wall pockets. They're cold painted and they are missing some of their paint. Their paint is not pristine, but they're fighting roosters. Now, do I know that for sure? No, but they look like they're fighting roosters. Look, that's what roosters do when they come after you. And I know this because roosters have come after me. As a child, we had this big rooster. It was like a calico rooster. Those were its colors. And it jumped on my back. It was and was probably called a speckled. She knows rooster. her chickens more than I do. I'm just saying this rooster jumped on my back and was pecking my hen. That's <laughs> what I know. And She won't even come near my hen. Because they attack me. But like, none of them have ever attacked us. We did have a rooster that we believe had cancer. And yeah. he came after my three-year-old. And then it might be the redhead. And my husband punted him. And all he could do was scratch her cheek. Yeah, and because so they have what are the, what are they called? Spurs. Spurs. They jump on you and cling to you with their spur. Like they look like my hand. They go. <laughs> and, and that's what that rooster did on my back when I was a kid. And then <clears throat> And that's what they do. They duck their head and they just go for you, kind of like a goose. So you got to watch them, kind of like billy goats. You got to watch them. Yeah, you don't want to turn your backs on them. Yeah. And then, and it, so it just didn't happen once. Then fast forward a couple of years and we were messing with the, the cows and we were putting, we had this one mama cow and she was going to feed like five babies. And so we were switching babies off of her. And I was in this pen with this rooster and we come face to face, me and this rooster only, we're not really face to face. I'm standing up and he's on the ground. And I moved to one side so he could go around me. And when I moved, he moved. He's like, you're not getting out of here. And so I stepped over to the other side and he stepped over to the side and then he lunged me, jumped at me like with his, what you call him? Or spurs, yes. And my dad had to come in and he threw a bucket at it. And which I'm so a rooster left a scar on my daughter's neck. Yes, chopped his head off. Yes. Yeah. And so I'm like, if there's a rooster around, I'm like, Adam, you keep that Adam's my brother, her husband. I'm like, you get that rooster away from me. 
because he raises chickens and he's a really good chicken farmer, but like he's the chicken. It's like they can sense my fear. And so they're like, maybe oh, she's just red a, hair. Red, red maybe head. it is because her daughter's red hair. Yeah. But anyway, so we've got the fighting rooster wall pockets. As I like I said, the paint on this one isn't as good as the paint on this one. Y'all probably gonna be like, well, why would we want these roosters? They're mm -hmm. so mean. The yellow stuff on the bottom, it does come off. So we will what is it? Oh, it smells funny. No. I scraped a little bit off. I wonder if somebody had it like above their stove or something. But um there are no chips or cracks, it's just the paint that is um coming off. Anyway, for this pair of fighting roosters, because that's what we're gonna call them. Yes, they would make cute bookends. I was thinking that. So oh. Oh, for your cookbooks. Okay. Or you can hang on because there are children. Yes. They can be wall pockets. You can put something and, on. Yes. Yeah, they have the. So $8, number 28 for the fighting roosters. You get both of them. Sorry, I am moving everything. That's what happens when you got to get up and down. That, that's probably too much information on roosters that they ever wanted. Yeah. At least they got a good laugh. Picturing a rooster coming after <laughs> okay she's redheaded and she's terrified of roosters it has to be the red hair see and i want to say because my mom's a redhead i want to say that she's had the same thing happen to her i want to say her accent Y'all, oh, that's just so exciting. For real. Who's that sent? Yeah, he's talking about how I say him. Oh, <laughs> y'all. Um, hey. but I can't believe after my stories that y'all still don't want these fighting roosters. Every time you look at them, you can think about our yeah. funny stories. That's right. Are you gonna do your kitchen roosters? I don't if know. Don't sell, you could get them. I might just keep a plain kitchen. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Well, you might have a thing. Well, I don't have a thing. But you want to have a thing because y'all do chickens and stuff. Yeah, we do chickens. You want to uh, show that goose? No. Why? Awful. We have another pretty floral tin. This one says made in England. And it is hinged. So the inside looks like that. So it is four dollars number twenty six for the floral tin with the hinged lid. Yes, perfect for spring. Yes, it is. It's got some, and it's got a gold background. You can like use that to put your coffee in. That's what I would use it for. Put my coffee in. Okay. Next we have a little hanging, what do you call this? A spoon like? Or no, this is what you would put your um it's a spoon rest. Yes, a spoon rest. It's spring coma. Has blue buttocks. <laughs> on the back, it, yeah, on the back it says Francoma. Blue bonnets are the Texas flower. If you know, if you've been to Texas, you know everybody wants to go on the blue bonnets and take pictures of their kids and themselves, and then they find rattlesnakes. 
You have to watch for the snakes. But the blue bonnets are are sprouting. Is that the word? Springing up, springing forward. There's lots of them. Anyway, Francoma, it says Francoma for Y. There we go. You could also hang it up. It does have a little yeah. thing where if you just wanted to show it off. And it has some marks on it, but that's just part of the stickers that. Yeah, we'll clean it up for you. The past couple of weeks, we have not done our best to no, we, we get suck. the stickers off. We should really get it together or get off. But hopefully y'all can forgive us for the stickers there that are being scraped off. So this is $4 number four. Yes, snakes are hard no. I agree. We lived out on the farm and my kids kept going. Hi, Judy. I've seen you in other places, though. Thanks for joining us. Um, we were living out on the farm and um, yes, Mr. L. Page, you can't step on them. You, you can't, can't mow them down. You can't, you can't pick, pick them. them. No, that is the Texas flower. No, don't get off. Don't get off my snake story. Because you want to hear it? Um, oh, my because. kids were running in and, in and out of the front door, and they happened to look down, and there was a big rattlesnake on our front porch. My husband had to go out and kill it. I think they counted 10 rattles. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not a cowboy fan, Cricket. I'm not, not a cowboy really, fan. She's not a fan of anything, actually. I'm just kidding. I'm what a fan are of, you a fan of? I'm a fan of cats. Uh, well, a football team. Oh. I'm not crazy about football unless it's like local Friday Night Lights football. Oh, a corn snake. I have a friend who has a corn snake. I'm like, look, a snake can't love you like a cat can or a dog can. But she's and, and my friend's like, oh, he loves me. And name's Bill. I'm like, I'm pretty <laughs> sure Bill. Bill is accidentally under lock and key. <laughs> Bill has accidentally has accidentally, she says, bitten her when she's feeding it. It's a rat. And I'm like, oh no, oh no. <clears throat> my husband is a sports fanatic. He follows, I think, every sport there is. Now I do watch hockey. We love hockey. The Avs and. The stars, obviously. And I like baseball. Now, I've been to some baseball games here. Yeah, watching she's, even watched, she's even watched me play. Yeah, you didn't do that this year. I know. Would have been fun. Um, our <laughs> church does a thing. Yeah, a thing. And it it was successful, but unsuccessful. Did y'all win a game at all? No. Yeah, I'm afraid maybe, of all, maybe, so. maybe one. Um, and then when I was a kid, I was running from my uncle's to our house, and I got to the very top, top step, and a copperhead raised its head up at me like mm -hmm. this. And it was in the middle of the night, like I had been with them somewhere, like my, my, my parents were already in bed. And I ran back down the stairs before it got me, and I mm -hmm. yelled and yelled and yelled, and I was so afraid my dad wasn't going to, like he was just going to barge out the front door and step on it. And so like the minute... I saw him open the, the big door before he opened the storm door. I was like, don't come out. And he got the. And he got the hoe and killed it. Colorado State. Have you been fishing on the Colorado River on a train that's gone by? No, I haven't. Um, Judy, are you from Colorado? Cricket's a Yankee fan. Hmm. Okay, next we have a flower frog. A glass, glass flower frog. Bit too heavy. No chips or cracks. My oh, goodness, did I just go through a big old, I, I feel like I was talking nonstop. That was my ring. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I'm not. Um, eight dollars, number twenty-two for the flower frog. <coughs> okay. Next, we shall 
Yes. Yes, it is. Really? The rating was wrong. That's kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> when they're fishing, they moon. Was there train. anything wrong with that flower pot? No. I Uh, yeah, there's there was nothing wrong with that one. It was in pristine condition. Always at dinner time. Um, I do not know what these these are pieces of fabric that someone did all of this lovely work on. So I don't know if you would take it and put it on a pillow. Yeah. Um, where is that? There is, it is clean and there are no chips. There's a little bubble or something right here. It's not a chip. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. Eight dollars. No, yes, eight dollars number twenty-two. Okay. Um, back to this. I don't know what you would do. I don't know what you would do with this. Clearly, somebody. This is the back. Clearly, somebody had a plan. So here's the first one, and it looks like cruel to me. Cruel. I'm pulling up cruel to me. Jim K, you got the flower frog. Um, I know how to spell it, C-R-U-E-L. Am I saying it wrong? Pillow front, that's what I was thinking. Frame it, that's what I was thinking. So we have this one. And this one. And I do believe they are the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are the same. So there's two of them. And this is the back. They're, so somebody spent a lot of a lot of work doing this. Cruel. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Thank you for letting me know. Cruel. 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 Is it is it two syllables? Cruel. Or cruel, like that was cruel of you, Kayla. Cruel or cruel. So anyway, these two. Oh, it sounds like so it's one syllable cruel cruel okay you're being cruel so we like have that. this these two four dollars number 45 that was something else Cruel. It is two. It is two syllables. Cruel. Okay. Gina, you got that. I hope you do something fun with it. <coughs> Next, we have a recipe. Ten with your mushrooms. I don't have a date. Oh, well, that's good. That's the bottom. Been a little scratched up. Inside, $3 for the mushroom tin, number 34. So if you have the merry mushrooms and you need a mushroom recipe tin, here you go. Where's Mary? Mary? Mary. Catherine Young. You got the mushroom tin. Man, that was popular. Mm -hmm. 
Mary mushrooms. Oh, here. You gotta be used to. Oh. Is this your mama? Me? I don't Okay. Next, we have a table runner or a dresser scarf. It does have some staining, and I did not try to get the stains out because I'm afraid I'm going to ruin the stitching if I get too aggressive with anything. Um, so it's got cute little flowers. Is that cross stitch? Yeah, cross stitch flowers all around it and at the bottom. I mean, at the other end, and you can see. All of the staining that's on it, I'm not going to lie to you, it's got some staining. Missy, Missy. Oh. Like right there, can you see that? Can I see that? Yes. Can y'all see that discoloration? Because I surely can't see it on there. I hope y'all can see it. I don't want to lie to y'all. There's some discoloration there. If y'all can't see it, I'm sorry. Uh. Anyway, it is also three dollars, number forty-two. Yeah, I think that's yours. <laughs> we have a lot. Okay. Next, Halsum Crown Dominoes, a double six set with rules. I picked this up because of the box, but it does have the dominoes in it. And they've been used. D. Let me see. Let me look at this so I can see what I'm talking about. I love the smell of them. They smell really old. <laughs> kind of only you would smell them. Um, D, I do not have your information. <clears throat> so anyway, dominoes, lid, say this. They do say Miss Good. Ironically enough, this came from one of how oh, he says he's Mr. L, L Page says that he smells them too. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Miss Mrs. Good, it says Mr. Good, but his wife owned these dominoes and she was my fourth grade teacher. So there's a little history there. Hmm. So these dominoes are five dollars, number 38. Five dollars, number thirty-eight. Hi, Mimi's Treasure Cottage. Live by Beauty. You're new. I don't remember you. Okay, let's move. Grab your hair up there. Okay. Next, we have a Fitz and Floyd little parrot coffee mug. Or you might use it for a planter. Mm. Fitz and Floyd. Look at Coco. I know, she's laying over there on a pillow. She's like, I'm just making myself comfortable. 
Okay, here is a tiny little chip. You can see it, but you can't really feel it. And can somebody get some move? right up here. There. Tiny marks. I think it, Terry, uh, is your wife's name Sharon? Or am I making that up? Oh, yeah, it's like it may have been repaired. I think right here, maybe y'all can see right there where my finger is. I think this little part right here, the little tip was broken off and glued back on. Anyway, it's $4, number 10. Sharon, I knew it was something, yeah. Here's this. Okay, this is yours too. We have a price marking kit, Garvey. I have never, <coughs> never seen one of these before. Does it have a date on it? It's old. Well, maybe not as old as I thought it was when we picked it up. So it still, let me tell you, it still has its ink and stuff. Oh, look at that. And it smells like, in, like <clears throat> something else is all I'm going to say. Well, that's neat. <laughs> Under my butt, I'm trying with my forehead. Yeah. Um, uh, man, I wish I could see a date on this, but it's very, very interesting. Gosh, king size. It smells like a, like a something. Something. Um, I don't see a date, but, and, and who knows? I mean, I don't know. Oh, 1970, Garvey. There we go, 1970. Yes, yes, Mr. L. Page. Yes. And so it comes. On the bottom, I don't know if you can see. Right. With the cleaner, with the clean up, it comes with everything. This is another one of those things. There's stuff in those bottles, right? Yes. It's another one of those things. If if you we can ship it with the stuff, but it will have to go ground. If you want it to fly, we have to dump it. Thank you, Mimi. It has to, yes, it has to dump it. And I'm gonna tell you it smells like death. No. But that's what it smells like. Ten dollars number thirty-two. That was ten dollars, number thirty-two. I know somebody wants it. I know Jen K wants it. Oh, okay. Next we have <coughs> Ambler Products Liniment. Um, originally thirty-five cents, Abilene, Texas. Um, an external preparation to the relief of aches, pains, and soreness of limbs due to exposure, colds, over exertion, insect bites, and minor bruises. It says the active ingredients. It does have a full bottle of liquid. Let me tell you. And it stinks. Reeks to high heaven. It it the I don't know if the lid wasn't on good or something when they packed it when we bought it. It was leaking a little bit. Oh my gosh, the smell. Take it off and smell it. So the liniment is still in there. 
Oh, it smells like gasoline. It smells like campofenique. If you know what campofenique, mm -hmm. you know, open those sinuses right up. Yes, Jenna needs to use yeah. this. Here, so <laughs> <it's> <laughs> Yes, it, 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 but it kind of has that campophonic smell. So this is another one of those things. We can pour it out. And, and they did tape, show them the, the, the they, they tape yeah, they, the wrapper or the original sticker on because it was coming off. Yes. So full bottle. $6, number two. Judy, yes, you did. It sold. We've already shown it. Okay. What? Uh, yeah. Okay, number two goes to Jen K. Next, we have Iodex. It's an ointment containing 4.7% iodine in organic combination with folic acid. Fatty acid. Oh, on this side it said, okay. Directions, apply liberally and rub in until color disappears. If parts are too tender, apply freely and cover with light, loose paint. Until what, what disappears? Apply liberally and rub, it, rub in until color disappears. If parts are too tender, apply freely and cover with light, loose bandage. Caution, do not use tight or heavy air excluding bandage. Take it out, let look at it. So the lid is not... The lid to the paper. One ounce. I do not see a date. It's old, people. That's yes. all I'm going to say. So here's the small bottle. Does it have stuff in it? Yes. Is it a paste? Should I open it? Um, Jen, on the liniment, do you want the liniment or do you want us to pour it out? Oh, oh it smells like a fart. <laughs> oh, you know what it smells like to me? What? New car. Smells like a fart. It has that new car smell. And that's what it looks like. It's a paste. It is a paste. That new car smell, it does to me. Okay, now that you say that, it does. I am real... Um, Smells bother me. Like my nose is like uber sensitive. And I could live with that smell. Yeah. When Touch I heard it and see if it's sticky. Oh, you know, it looks like oil. <laughs> it looks like oil. That's what it looks like. And thank you for telling me to stick my finger in there. Because now it's on my finger. Where's the red? And I'm really far away from a sink. Where's the red? It's over here, filled with dust. <laughs> you keep snorting all that stuff. <laughs> it, it's, it's got some rust on it. It does smell like the new crust. Yeah, it does. It's got some rust on it. So Take your finger in it and smell it. No. Oh, my nose itches now. So you get this. <laughs> Um, I don't know. We'll do, I guess we'll do six on it too. Six dollars, number 20 for the new car smell. The next time, sorry, I'm gonna sleep. I had to yawn. Um, so whenever I 
bought my car is less than a year ago. Not even, not even eight months ago. Um, I was so ready to get um, one of those little trees to hang in my car. And every time I smell, like I get in a vehicle that has a new car smell, I regret ever putting something smelly in there to take the new car smell out. So if, if I ever have to get another vehicle, which I have a Toyota, so it'll probably last me forever. Make sure your finger doesn't fall off those instructions. Jim K got it. Jim K, you're nuts. Well, actually, you're not. Um, okay, so we have two more things. Oh, no, it's falling off. <laughs> We just have, um, get my drink. We have, just have a little, hey, I would love you forever if you'd run down and get me some more water because that's about the only thing that's yes, keeping, Mom. Me, keeping me from just totally coughing my head off. Wash we just have a cute little fat bird. No chips, no cracks. He does have a hole in his bottom, but he is not a, um, he doesn't have like, he's not a salt and pepper shaker. He's just a cute little, would he be a robin? Because I don't know my birds. But look at him, he's cute. And he's $3, number 16. The cute little bird is $3, number 16. And he's just a cute little fat bird. He just wants to hang out at your house. been eating a lot of seed for sure. <coughs> Terry Nichols got that, which your name is Sharon. Okay. Do that duck and let's go through the stuff. Okay. Next we have on the bottom it says 3011. I'm out of breath from walking up and down the stairs. Oh. Okay. So we have, what is this, a goose? Is it a goose? Well, it looks like a duck to me. Is it a duck? I don't know. I have chickens. I don't have ducks. <laughs> a duck. He could probably be cleaned a little more. So, but is this dirt or is that his? I think that's the color he is, isn't it? I don't think we should sell him. He needs. He needs to be cleaned. He needs a good him. bath. He'll be in the next sale. Well, he'll be in a sale. We'll clean him, and he will be in. Well, I don't know. I just want to know. Give me the spray. I just want to know if this is part of his. Geese oh, that's yeah. yeah. Speaking of yeah. geese, I have. I give me the spray. Um, and yeah. Don't spray that all over my face. Well, I, I need the washer. Right. I just want to see if this well, is. You, it? you had it. Wiping your hand off. Oh, I threw it over here. Oh. So my brother had geese when I was growing up, and they chased cars hmm. and people. <laughs> okay, so this is what I know. This duck looks dirty, but he is not. That is part of his color. That brown, it's just part of his color. He's not dirty. Now, the inside of him is dirty. Yeah. Kayla didn't do a good job at cleaning him. But anyway, he's five dollars number eight. You don't have to expose my cleaning. Okay. Because you're the one that didn't take your stickers off. <laughs> maybe, Annette. Maybe because it's but it, yeah, I bet it is. Because at first I thought, is that dirt? 
He needs a pawn. Yes, he does. Um, we'll run through. I, I thought of an idea. Um, this could be scary. It really could. So here's the thing. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do something fun. And we're probably, it'll be us that, that loses. So don't expect this to happen every time, but we're going to do it tonight. So here's the thing on all the stuff that didn't sell. The first person to put in the number of how much they want to pay for it gets it for that price. You tell me the price you want to pay. And the first person that comes up that Shannon calls, you get it for that price. Okay. We'll start with teacup and saucer. Yeah, I get in the drawing. And that um... You should have. Yeah, you should have. Let me check. Yeah, because we were yakking so much. So did y'all all... Oh, she ain't playing. She's got what? Yeah, she's, she's like finger. moving her arm. She's like the next person. Uh, I do not have a finger. Okay, so we're going to go through and show y'all everything that didn't sell. So when, okay, here we go. The first thing that, that did not sell is this cup and saucer. The Royal Veil Made in England Bone China Rose Cup and Saucer. Really? And I love Call Me Cat. I watch all of them. Call Me Cat. <laughs> so first on the table, if you're interested, top in your price. You get it for that price. Shannon, you call it. You have Debbie Vitale in there? She's angelic vintage treasures. No. Okay, Debbie Vitale, you got the teacup and saucer for $5. Next up, Pyrex refrigerator dish, red, glossy, still shiny, Pyrex. Um, there is a nick. Oh, I forgot this. On the lid. Oh, I just put it on there. I'll do it later. The next is the Next we have. Wait, wait, wait. Let Shannon call it first. <laughs> okay. okay, Gina, you got that for $3. Man, that was a steal. Okay, we've got the pot holders, also known as trivets. This. This. Oh, come on, people, you don't want the pot holders? <laughs> okay. Okay, Marley, you got the trivets for three. Next, we have Bird on a Leaf. Uh, 
There you go. Bird on a leaf goes to Angelic Vintage Treasures for four dollars. <throat> My, okay, since this is probably going to go, I'm just going to say, you get it. If it doesn't, I'm not going to put, I'm not going to make sure it works. I'm not going to crack it open and put batteries in it. You get it the way it's coming because I'm sure somebody's going to want it. The space spinner. Jim K, you got to have it. I think it just needs to be a little more time. This is a Goes to Jump to Love for three dollars. Missy, you got it. That's nuts. Kayla just whispered in my ear and said, I bet you won't do that again. <laughs> so this may be the first and, and last time. time. The I, only time. I noticed Mama's Treasures, she, she actually messaged me and said, hey, can we do free shipping? And I'm like, dude, do whatever you want to do. But she just didn't want to take that idea. And then um, I was watching Pamela and she did free shipping. So I, I bet they don't do this. <laughs> They're like, nope. Um, the footed trunket dish. Footed trinket <laughs> dish. Nippon. Annette Fain, you got it. Um, let's see the oh that that vase. <coughs> Velco Japan vase. Uh -huh. You're a luster wear elephant. A luster wear elephant made in Japan. Debbie Vitale, you got the vase. Butter yellow. <laughs> Thanks, Robin. Okay, D, you got the elephant. The Namaji pottery. Which is this? Yeah. The Crayola. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what we're gonna do on here. When you get it and you look at it in person, let us know if you think that it could be something. No, you don't know what you're talking about. For this, um, we asked originally for $12. Terry Nichols, you got it. 
Um, the mug that the the gel mug, the ashtray, the fighting roosters, the front So what? Okay, we'll do the fighting roosters. Yes. Okay, next up is the fighting roosters. Originally asked eight. Carrie Ann, you got the roosters. The Why Worry mug. World's greatest VIP. Somebody's spinning that one. I don't think anybody wants it. Okay. Um, next, we have the ashtray. Anybody want the ashtray? Nobody wants the ashtray? <coughs> Moving along. Next is the ow, metal container. Oh, oh ten. vintage. Yes. Is that for the ashtray? I bet it is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You got it. The floral. Whatever it's called. Mine went blank. Tin. Tin. We asked $4 for the tin, Jen K. Mr. L. Page for the floral tin. And Mr. L. Page, have you sent your information? Did you mean to get it? Did you mean to say you wanted it? Or were you at, were you answering her question? I haven't, but I shall. Okay. So you did want the floral tin. Good night, Dee. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> no, nope. we're sticking to our word. What you said is what you're paying. Like I said, we may never do this again. Yeah. But it was fun while it lasted. Yeah. So next we have the table runner. Dresser's first. What? Yeah. Missy, you're good. You shall tell what, yeah. Um. You know what, I don't even remember. Debbie, I don't even remember what we paid for half this stuff. And we have so much. Mm -hmm. It's just not. Like if y'all could see what's around yeah. us. And my garage. So the table runner goes to Blind by Beauty. And I do think you are new to our channel. Thanks for stopping by. Um. And if you haven't sent me your information, Blonde Beauty, uh, let me know. 
Ira, send it to us, please. I'll tell us what you were asking. Well, she actually paid. We were asking $3, and she said $3 for that scarf. This. Vivian, she just hopped on. She's like, what's going on here? Vivian, um, we're just going through. Um, what we didn't sell. <laughs> we're at the end of our life, and we're going through what we didn't sell. And doing something new, which is the first and probably the last time. Um, but you never know. The things that didn't sell, whatever, the first person to put down what they would pay gets it for that price. So this is the spoon wrist. Francoma. Francoma spoon wrist with blue bonnets. First person to put, you know, we were, we were asking would four for this. All right, Missy. Yes. Oh, Missy, I will email you. I just, we've been talking and I do need to email you. Um, I got sick and I just was focused on myself. No, your parent mug. The Garvey thingy. The and the Okay, Annette Fane got the spoon rest. Next, we have the Garvey Price Marking Kit. Jim K, Jim K, are you still with us? Um, so the Garvey Price Stamping Kit. Okay, uh, Debbie Vitale, you got it. Sorry, Jen. <laughs> okay. Next is the owl. That's not an owl. I mean the parrot. Parrot. Sorry. Parrot. And I thought bug. I didn't know my birds. Well, I wasn't thinking. I'm not a bird fan, anyways. Anyways. We were asking for on this. Okay. In the duck pond. And the duck planter. The outside of him is not dirty. That's his color. But the inside of him is dirty. Look at his good face. Duck planter goes to Blind by Beauty. Okay, and that was it. Um, now we draw for free shipping. <laughs> you need to add Blind by Beauty and Mr. L Page.
Y'all, we're about to, we're about to have a, it's about to get crazy here. Debbie, I hope you start feeling better soon. I hope you get out of the hospital soon. Okay. Drawing for the free shipping. <laughs> and free shipping goes to Debbie Vitale. Debbie Vitale, you get free shipping. Let Cat get the duck. Who is Cat? Calypso cat, okay. Um, cat, do you want the duck? Um, the duck was three dollars. More money to pay the hospital bill bills, Debbie. No, I'm just joking. Um. So we okay, not if Brittany does cat. <laughs> y'all just tell me what to do. Um, let me tell y'all what's going on. Real short. We're selling our house in Fort Collins and have already bought another condo in Fort Collins, so we have to go move. And that'll be next week. And I'm gonna be in Fort Collins until the 1st of June. Give it to Kat. Okay, Kat, it's yours. So we're thinking about doing our sale. So tell me what would feel better. Monday morning or late Sunday night. Y'all just give me y'all's opinion. Um, I know we can't, we can't um, appease everybody and not do whatever, but uh, I, you know, we also don't have a lot of followers, so I want to do what, what y'all think. We can do a Monday morning or a really late Sunday because Thrift U always keeps the time 7 to 9 Eastern Standard. So what is that central? I'm going to have to look it up. I suck. Yeah, we can't do Sunday morning because we have an Easter thing this Sunday. Um, seven Eastern time is six. Dear Lord, somebody help me. If seven o'clock is Eastern. Thank you. It's central, central time. time, 7 p.m. Oh, minutes. good to know. Well, the reason why I said it was central, I mean, Eastern is because it says on Angela's um, calendar that times listed are Eastern, and it has thrift you from 7 to 9. Right, Tammy, we're ready. Um. They are Eastern. Okay. So does that mean they're six to eight? Central? Jim K, does that mean they're six to eight central? Um, I just want, so the reason why I'm going to be flying or leaving 
Six to eight central. Okay. Then we could do Sunday. Eight, eight o'clock Sunday night. Or 10 o'clock Monday morning. And the reason why I want to do this is because we're leaving Wednesday to go to Colorado. <coughs> not tomorrow. Not this Wednesday. Right, next not this Wednesday, Wednesday, but next Wednesday. And I want to have we're gonna have to have time to ship everything before I'm gonna, before I leave. Um Jack to be loved, I'll email you. Missy, I'll email you. Hi, Coco. <laughs> You'll probably make more money on Monday, really. Mr. L. Page, we have um we have a house in Fort Collins and we split our time. Um <clears throat> But we're downsizing. We're upsizing here, and we're downsizing in Fort Collins. So we've got to go. Sunday is Easter, right? On Monday, there's nothing Monday morning. Thrift <coughs> you a central time. They live 30 minutes from Missy. Beautiful cat. I will, Tammy. Okay. We might do Monday morning. Since Sunday is Easter. Um. <laughs> We're going to do Monday morning at 10 Central Standard Time. I just called it. A rag doll. <laughs> Mr. L. Page says, ooh, a rag doll. It's a Siamese. Snowshoe Siamese is what it is. Um, Monday at 10 o'clock? Central Standard Time. Central 10 a.m. And... um. It is going to be, our, should, should we go ahead and do our raining cats and dogs? Everything cats and dogs related? Yes, no, maybe so. I will, Debbie. <coughs> so we should go ahead and do our raining cats and dogs. Okay. Coco, your hair is flying around everywhere. We're going to do our raining cats and dogs. No, Angela. I, we're, I have to, we can't do it on Tuesday. And we were we were talking about whether we were talking about whether um, we wanted to have a sale late on Sunday or Monday morning, and we decided Monday morning. And I'll I'll email you or message you on Instagram and let you know of our time change. And y'all be sure to watch the comments because there are people that are having <coughs> their first live sales, Drunk to be Loved and Vintage Viking Treasures. So Getting very late. Be, the sure week. To, be sure to go and watch them. And like, comment, and subscribe. And <coughs> It's time for me to get off here. <laughs> and thanks for joining us. It was a crazy night, but it was fun. It was good being back. So um, 
Y'all all have a good night and we will see y'all Monday morning. Thanks, Marie. <laughs> <laughs> see y'all later.